we're going to evaluate the integral 8x minus 7 divided by 2x squared minus x minus 3. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and uh, use partial fraction decomposition to make it easier to integrate. So basically I have 8x minus 7. Let's factor our denominator. This is going to be uh, x plus 1 times 2x minus 3. And uh, let's write our linear factors are going to be x minus 1, or x plus 1, sorry, plus b divided by 2x um, minus 3. Now you clear the fractions, and uh, basically you're just going to cross up like that. You're going to get uh, a times 2x minus 3 plus b times x plus 1 equals this numerator, 8x minus 7. All right, from here, let's uh, uh, let x equal 3 halves. If we let x equal 3 halves, it's going to eliminate my a, because that's going to give me a 0, and that's why I chose that. So we have b times 3 halves plus 1 equals 8 times 3 halves minus 7. So for the right hand side, 2 goes into 8 4 times, and you have, uh, this is going to be 12 minus 7. On this side, I'm going to change my 1 to 3, divide it by 3 for my 1, and that's going to give me b, um, 6, whoops, I'm going to write it as 2 divided by 2, sorry, 2 divided by 2, and that's going to give me 5 fifths, or 5 halves. So we have 5 halves b equals 5. All right, from that, um, you're just going to get b equals um, 2. You cross up and then divide, so b is 2. Now for the um, eliminate b, we're going to let x equal negative 1. So this is going to uh, go to 0, and we're going to have a times 2 times negative 1 minus 3 equals 8 times negative 1 minus 7. All right, this is going to be negative 8 minus 7, so this is going to be negative 15. This piece here is going to be negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5a, so a equals 3. So since we have our a and uh, b, we're going to plug it back into our original equation and then integrate. So we're going to get the integral of 3 divided by x plus 1 plus 2 divided by 2x minus 3, and then we're going to write dx. So for the first piece, uh, we're just going to get uh, 3 times ln of absolute value of x plus 1 plus 2 times ln absolute value of 2x minus 3. Then we have to multiply this by 1 half, so we're just dividing that by 2. That goes away, plus c. Now, let's go ahead, and since we have a positive, I condense this and write it as a single log. The first step I'm going to do is move my 3 up here. So basically, I'm going to get ln of absolute value of x plus 1 cubed. And then you're going to times it by absolute value of 2x minus 3, because we're using the product rule for uh, logs, plus c. And this will be your final answer. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.